Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in to today's video. Now, I made the same video with a slightly different title for summer. You guys enjoyed it, so I figured let's do the same but for autumn. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the items, both old and a couple of new bits as well that I am excited to wear for the autumn season. And just as a side note, I will also be doing my usual how I plan for the next season, which in this case is autumn video as well. So keep your eyes peeled for that one coming up in the next month. Right, so first up, the first sort of autumnal clothing category, if you will, that I am really looking forward to wearing come autumn time is trench coats. I love a trench coat. So I'm gonna be whipping out. Currently they're actually in storage and probably won't come out of storage until after we move house, but I'm going to be whipping out my vintage Burberry trench, which of course you guys have seen so many times. I love it. It is by far my favourite trench coat because it was such a bargain. You can see the kind of story on that, I think in one of my videos, which was like a second hand haul potentially. I think it was that, I might've got that completely wrong. I will link the video either way down in the description box where you can find out more about my Burberry, vintage Burberry trench coat. But yes, I will be whipping that one out and styling that one up. I also have um, another favorite, which was another second hand but grand purchase actually. And it was the beigey sort of taupey colored one. It's very fluid from Massimo Dutti. That one I wore quite a lot last year and I wore a lot in spring as well. So I'm gonna be whipping that one out. And then, as I've just mentioned, I do have a couple of new additions. Now, first up is the one which I have already been wearing. So this is a really fluid, and I quite like the fluid motion of trenches which are made more out of this kind of fabric, just because they, especially if it's like a windy day, I just feel like they move really elegantly. They're not quite as structured as the other one that I've got here on the rail and my vintage Burberry, which are more of like a cotton structured garbadine fabric. So yeah, this one is by Jigsaw, but it was actually gifted to me by John Lewis for the recent collaboration that we did with John Lewis, which I would just like to say thank you very much for all your kind words and all your support on taking in all of that content because we really enjoyed making it and I feel like I don't say thank you enough, so thank you for that. Anyway, <laughs> emotional moment over. Yes, trench coat, really beautiful. I've already been wearing it so you guys can kind of see a few ways that I've styled it already, but it's one of those really classic items which I never struggle to style if I'm being honest, especially when it comes to these sort of more neutral colors. Now, on the topic of colour, very vaguely, this trench coat, not this specific one, but a trench of this colour has been on my wish list for I think two, two and a half years now. And I was just waiting for the right one to come along. And in July, this popped up on the COS website. I saw it, immediately fell in love with it and thought it is actually the perfect color of green. And what I like about Kos, not all the time, but I do find that Kos is one of my sort of go-to high street stores because they do great length in coats. So for us tall gals, I'm five foot nine for anyone who isn't aware by now, but I struggle to find coats that fall at the length that I want them to. And this has a really good length. It is the most beautiful color. It's really well made. And yeah, I'm really, 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 really excited to wear this one. Right, moving on to clothing category, autumnal clothing category number two, and it is chunky knits. Now I've said it before, I will say it again, and I will say it again and again and again in future autumnal videos, but sweater weather, sweater season, and it's that weather that's like crisp, and the leaves are all brown and falling and all you need is a chunky jumper and yeah, probably a bit of a layer underneath, but you don't need a coat, you can just have a chunky jumper and maybe like a beanie hat. That is, and I know I'm not alone, but that is my favorite part of the year. I love that weather. I love nature at that time of year. It's just my favorite. And chunky knits, admittedly, 
are a bit of a weak point of mine because I'm gonna be quite honest, the last thing I need is another chunky knit because I have ample, I have an entire plethora in my wardrobe and in my storage tubs, but I just can't help myself. I love chunky knitwear. So I do have one new addition to my chunky knit collection, if you will. And again, this is actually another piece from the recent John Lewis collaboration that we did. And it's by Weekend Max Mara. Now, this was quite a pricey jumper. However, it is beautifully made and it is the most gorgeous colour. I probably should have steamed it a little bit because it looks a bit creased, but you would have seen me wearing it when I was actually speaking through that entire John Lewis video. It's so cosy and it's also got a funnel neck, which I really like. I love the style of neck that goes up, but that you don't necessarily roll over. And that for me is my favorite sort of neckline on a chunky knit. So this is my new addition. However, as I've said, I'm gonna be whipping out some of my old faves and I have picked this one to share with you guys. This is from the brand Baba, maybe? B-A-B-A-A, -A -A. and there's an accent over one of the A's at some point. It is a Spanish brand. It is a small independent brand. They are excellent with using natural wool colors. And then when they do use dyes because they have some more vibrant colors like reds, pinks, yellows, greens, they use natural non-chemical dyes. I would 110% recommend checking them out if you're looking to buy really beautiful quality knitwear. Mine is granted a little bit bubbled. I need to do a bit of a debubble, but I think I'm gonna make a bit of a how-to for Instagram on how I debubble my knitwear because I actually find it a very therapeutic process. But it, on me, is I would say the perfect amount of oversized. It's a decent length. It's got these beautiful kind of back wing arms, which is why this is ideal for sweater weather, but not ideal for if you wanna wear it under a coat, it's not gonna fit. So that's why I like these really kind of chunky knits. And I also wanted to mention my Ray chunky cardigan, which I realize I have not brought down. So I apologize for that, but it was a big black chunky cardigan that I bought actually earlier on this year and I wore it a lot because we had a really cold snap. We actually had frost in May. So we had a really chilly spring and I kept that throughout spring weather, which I find is very similar to autumn weather, like lots of sweater weather. Right, on to autumn staple. No, that's a whole other video, isn't it? <laughs> on to autumn clothing category number three. Oh, the mind has gone. And it is blazers although to be fair they are an autumn staple they're just a wardrobe staple in general and you guys know that they are one of my favorite staples within my wardrobe and actually i think that this is probably what most of you know me for and little fun fact if you search on Pinterest the word blazer someone told me this the other day apparently i am the biggest search result of photos on Pinterest if you type in blazer. Mental, that's, well, it's not mental, is it? It's very predictable. In fact, it's not surprising at all. So yes, I love blazers, it's no secret. And that is why I jumped at the chance, literally head first, to collaborate with a small independent brand called The Curated. I say small, they're growing and massive, massive props to Nicola for what she's doing with her brand. But it's a small, very responsible brand, which I already loved before we kind of talk, started talking about doing a blazer collaboration. I had lots of their coats and I just loved the quality. I liked everything that Nicola was about and everything that she put into her brand. And therefore, when we started talking about collaborating on a blazer, there was just no question. It was just an instant yes. And the idea of getting to design my own perfect blazer, like taking all of those elements that I love about various different blazers and putting them all into one, was just something that I was incredibly excited about. And I feel really lucky to have been able to do that. So, I have two of my blazers from our collection that we've done so far here. So I've got the black, which as an FYI, this has just been restocked in time for autumn. So if you are looking for like the perfect black blazer, if I do say so myself, 
it's right here. And I'll leave a link down below for where you can find that one. And then this one here is the Torp. Now, Nicola and I both have the same feeling about the Torp. It is our favorite fabric, because for those of you that don't know, we use dead stock fabric. So it's quite difficult to find really nice fabrics and to keep them consistent throughout the different colors. So we do have two other colors. We also have a navy, which I believe is completely sold out because the dead stock fabric that we found for that one was so tiny. It was such a small amount. So it had to be a very limited run of only, I think, a hundred blazers. So there wasn't many at all. But the taupe is by far the favorite fabric that we have found. And yeah, it's just absolutely beautiful. It's got a cashmere mix in there and it is just stunning. So blazers are right up there being one of the things that I am super, super excited to be styling for autumn. Right, next up is boots. Now, I wouldn't say I go super crazy with boots come autumn. In fact, I still wear, as some of you might have seen in some of my previous sort of transitional outfits going into autumn, I still actually wear sandals quite a lot. However, as the weather does and the sort of temperature just does start to take a dip, I will start to whip out some of my boots. And it won't be any sort of furry lined boots, it will more often than not be something like this. Now these are or were from Jigsaw, I'm not sure if they are still available or potentially they might bring them out again this year, I'm not sure. But they were for me a more affordable option for the row, and I'm not entirely sure what they're called, but the row, I call them the row zip boots, which have been on my wish list for so long. However, when these kind of cropped up, I was like, those, I don't know, in some way I kind of prefer. They've got a gold zip, which of course goes with all my jewelry. Not that I'm adverse to silver, but I do like gold. And they have this sort of chunkier, more grippy sole, whereas the rose version of the, the sort of zippery boots have this chunky sort of wedge type of sole, which sometimes when you have a size seven and a half foot can be a little bit dodgy. So that's why I thought I would feature these ones, but there's also the chunkier Arquette boots with the elastic around the top, which I wore quite a lot last year. Those I think I bought in September last year. It could have even been August and I actually wore them on our trip to Scotland and they were super comfortable. And yeah, I just think that they work really well for kind of autumnal outfits, especially when you're just doing sweater weather or potentially something like a blazer outfit as well. So those will be coming out and making a return very soon. And finally, bags. <laughs> yes, bags. So I've mentioned bags quite a lot with regards to the styles and which bags I feel are more sort of summer appropriate and which ones are rest of the year appropriate. So this Celine Trifold actually was a secondhand but grand purchase from Vestiaire and it was actually only bought January, I believe this year. Yes, January this year. And I bought this from a UK seller on Vestiaire because of course, as those of you in the UK and in fact Europe will know now because of Brexit, <sighs> Brexit is just the bane of my shopping life. <laughs> because of Brexit, you now incur a 20% VAT fee. If you are purchasing anything from Vestiaire, that is from a seller that is not within the UK. If you, the buyer, is also in the UK. Sorry, that was very long-winded. I hope it makes sense. So I got it for just under a thousand pounds, sort of 960-ish, I think, and that's with the shipping and the authentication fee in there as well. So granted, this one didn't get a great deal of wear at the start of the year because we were in lockdown for months on end. So, and then we kind of went into summer, so I feel like this bag hasn't had a great deal of use, but I am beyond excited to give this one the wear that it deserves because it's beautiful. And then one more bag, again, Celine, which I'm very excited to whip out and wear again this season. And I feel like, again, it didn't get a lot of wear last autumn, winter, because of all the lockdowns and probably even the autumn winter before that because we spent most of that doing house renovations. And then once we went into the new year, that's when the pandemic started. But it is my amazing Celine classic bag. Oh, I love this bag so much. In fact, I get messages 
quite frequently, surprisingly frequently actually, a lot of people email me or DM me and ask me if they can buy the bag. No, you cannot. She's not for sale. She's mine. But yes, very excited. Again, kind of like the trifold to give this bag the wear that she deserves because she's itching to get out there in the world. Right, there we go guys. There was just a little handful, a few sort of bits and pieces here and there of the things which are giving me all the autumn feels that I'm getting excited about. What are you getting excited about? What is your favourite sort of thing to wear? Or what's just your favourite thing in general? Well, general? <laughs> in general about autumn. Let me know down in the comments as per usual. Thank you as always for watching. Lots of autumnal content still to come your way and I'll see you next time.